Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful August 1st, and I'm gonna jump right into it. If you couldn't tell by the title of this video, Kayla and I, my wife, we are having our first child. It's crazy, I know. For those that have been following what I've been doing here on YouTube and Twitch and all the other ventures over the last eight years or so, it's crazy to think um, that we have grown up together. I mean, I started all of this when I was about 22 years old. Like I said, I'm 31 now, and I always pictured myself um, having a kid or having a couple of kids, uh, but I never thought that it would get to the point where I'd still be going today and being able to share all of this great news with you guys. Um, so first off, I want to thank everybody that has been um, you know, watching my videos and supporting me on Twitch and my podcast and stuff like that because it wasn't until just over the last, I say six months to a year where I've been really considering having a child. My wife has been ready for years. Um, and also in this video, I have a funny video to show you guys where we broke it to my, uh, to my parents and her parents that we were having a kid. My mom has been basically been begging me to have a kid for the longest time um, and it just felt right. I've always been so focused on my career, um, just kind of more selfish with my own time. Um, not that I didn't want to make time for a child, but I also want to be present in my child's life and the way I worked for, you know, the last, not even, well, the last year it's been kind of, you know, I've been enjoying life a little bit more, but for about six, the first six years of my career, I didn't have time for friends. I didn't have time, a lot of time, even for my wife. Uh, I was so focused on my career and trying to, you know, further my family tree and, and put myself and my family in a position where um, I didn't have to worry about some sort, sort of the things that I grew up. Um, you know, I grew up in a very, I, I wouldn't say poor, but you know, there were times where we were on welfare. There was times where we've been through bankruptcy. There's been times where I've seen my mom uh, not eat dinner so that her kids could eat. Uh, we've been there. And obviously, um, or throughout my childhood, things got a little bit better. I remember being 12 years old and we moved into our first home uh, that we didn't actually own, by the way. We, we were renting it from uh, a guy that my dad was working for. Um, so we got a good deal, but that was the first time that I didn't feel poor where I moved into a residential area like a suburb that wasn't either the ghetto or you know drugs or whatever was around in the neighborhood so though that was like sort of the first shift that I have uh, felt in my sort of teen years um, and then I moved out from my home uh, when I was just a little past 16, going on 17 years old or so. I was pretty young. Um, but I just always wanted to, I always just wanted to not go through what I went through as a child. And I had a great childhood, man. My parents were awesome. I never wanted for anything, um, almost to a fault where, you know, my parents would do things for me that now that I look back, they should have never have done or they could never have uh, afforded. But you know, they'd do anything for their kids and they're still that way today. And I wanted to make sure that I was going to be, uh, I was going to be able to provide, uh, in a manner where we didn't have to, you know, struggle. So I've just been so focused, focused and, and my wife has been wanting kids for a very long time. Uh, but I've always been the one that was like, no, not yet, not yet. So, uh, funny little story before I show you guys. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me show you guys the clip of us breaking the news to my parents. And this was actually on Father's Day. And to sort of set the, 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 uh, the picture for you guys, it was Father's Day. Uh, my parents and Kayla's parents came over for a barbecue, including my sister and uh, my brother-in-law. So they all came over for a barbecue, which is nothing out of the norm. Nobody was expecting really anything. Uh, Kayla's brother kind of had this weird feeling like something was up, but beyond that, uh, it was just a normal get together for us. And what Kayla and I decided to do is we all, or we bought my, my parents' mugs and her parents' mugs. And on the mugs, it said, uh, greatest grandpa ever and greatest grandma ever. And Mother's Day wasn't too long ago. 
So, and we didn't get our, get our moms anything for Mother's Day, um, like took them out for, for dinner or something. But in terms of presents, we didn't do anything. We normally don't. But we didn't want to just give our dads a present because then my mom, especially my mom, be like, well, where was my present on Mother's Day? So we decided to get them all a gift. And we just said, you know, it's a, it's a belated Mother's Day gift and a Father's Day gift. And they all opened up the, the gift bags at once. And my mom absolutely freaks out. Enjoy. All right, go ahead. Looks like a mug. A nice coffee. guys were watching that clip I was in the grocery store grabbing some food got uh, let's see here got chicken wrap some fruit some vegetables and you know I got to keep it a hundred percent black we got some chicken straight up rotisserie chicken there's the nightmare just looking sexy as always damn Funny enough, now that I am going to be having a baby, the wife and I can park in this when she's with me. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. They're going to see me pull up in this and park in that spot, and then I'll be called the douchebag. It's all good. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that reaction video. Uh, nobody knew I was recording except for my wife. That was my mom's like genuine reaction. That's how she is all the time when she gets excited. She swears a lot, she goes crazy, she cries. Uh, she's awesome. But I just wanted to make the video short and let everybody know about what's going on, why I haven't been uploading videos as much as I would like, and now I can finally say it. And now I can finally tell you guys what's going on uh, besides like, you know, rental properties and things like that. So uh, we're pumped. I'm sure during the vlogs now, over the next six months, you're gonna get a lot of updates on the pregnancy. We'll, we're gonna go to doctor's appointments. I'll be showing you guys, uh, you know, uh, ultrasound photos and things like that. It'll be a lot of fun and it'll give me something more to talk about in my vlogs uh, and, and uh, more for you guys to sort of see what's going on in my life right now. It's mostly all exciting stuff at the moment, which is, which is great. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head home. Um, gonna run on the treadmill for about an hour, listen to one of my uh, podcasts, and then I'm gonna live stream on Twitch for the majority of the day. So if you're watching this right now, come hang out on my Twitch uh, TV. Link is in the description below, and we can chat, or you can come watch me play some video games and, uh, and have a good time. If not, I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so much uh, just for continuing to watch me over the years and I know the content has went from gaming to you know a lot of car stuff and vlog stuff but I'm, I'm changing as a person and uh, you know that's just I guess the beautiful thing about life uh, you know you start growing as a as a person you have your ups and downs and um, you know I'm happy to share all that stuff with you guys so you know if you've been here forever or you've just been here today Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you on the next video, or I'll see you on the live stream. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, 
Let me know in the comment section below if you have any kids and how much has changed your life. Thanks, guys. Peace out.